Hey Scorpio, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading, general reading, take what works, sleep what doesn't. It's not going to match everybody's situation, but maybe there's something here that will be of use to you. Uh, let's see here, Oracle card reading over here on uh, YouTube, and then a more traditional tarot spread over on Vimeo. Link will be in the description box. Feel free to watch your Sun, moon, rising, Venus. For the love readings I just posted, I would definitely just find the Aquarius in your chart and claim that one. All right. Starting off with two from Moonology. Well, 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 Scorpio. A new romantic cycle begins, but my experience with this card is it's just a new relationship. So someone new coming into your life, there's potential for a balance, give and take um, relationship, mutually beneficial relationship. Uh, there's the promise of that or the possibility of that. It's not known yet. It's too new to know. Uh, compromise might be in the picture for you. Um, but it, there's a new, and, and it, this can also be not just a new relationship, well, a new relationship with someone you've known. So maybe a friendship turning into a work relationship or a work relationship turning into a friendship or a friendship turning into a lover. It can be like a new phase of a relationship, someplace we haven't been yet with this person, some sort of uh, interaction. Um, and it should be mutually beneficial. Uh, just a new, new way of relating to someone. Adjustments are required third quarter moon. This one has a lot of possibilities to it. Adjustments being required. Um, right, you're getting, you might have to shift your expectations of this person. You might have to shift. This could be someone you were expecting to be like a mentor or um, something, but you're actually going to have to like kind of shift what the relationship is. Um, in order for it to be mutual, you're not going to be able to see them on a pedestal. You're not going to be able to see them as... Um, something that you should be getting something out of or something like that because it, it's meant to be a give and take relationship so there's some way in which maybe you um, were expecting to receive but you also actually have to give so adjustments required um, some way in which this balance in order for it to be a balanced relationship, you either have you have to adjust something, you either have to ask for something, or you have to not not uh, expect. I, I, maybe lowered expectations here, or don't ask for something if you're not if you haven't given. There is something about reciprocity needing to happen here. And needing to be, you know, we don't want to nickel and dime or, you know, bean count our relationships and be like, oh, well, I paid two fifty dollars for, um, I don't know what you paid two fifty dollars for, a gumball, I guess. I paid two fifty dollars for a gumball, um, so if you could pay two fifty dollars on this check, that would be really great. Like, we can't be, or emotionally like that, you know, something not like that, but... There needs to be uh, more give and take uh, for this relationship to go somewhere or, or be healthy. And it might be just a new phase of a relationship where you thought it was going to be one way. It's now going to be a different way, but this is going to be better. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. So it, it is a new level of a relationship or a new relationship relationship not not necessarily it could be a new person or it could be a relationship hitting a new phase here um so adjustments required i think you have to let go of what is we have two cards here though of territory i mean this is territory and routine routine always talks to me about um, some part of your day-to-day -day routine, obviously, work. It could this could be a work situation where you need to um, be a little territorial, um, which can always feel petty. It can feel very petty at work. You know, it's just work, um, but it's also really important for the growth of a career, for the growth of a um, for your own personal development to just not let people walk all over you. So territory can be about boundaries, having good boundaries, and this is something. You, like, you have to deal with the situation every single day. And it's something that's gotten very routine. And it has to do with boundaries. I, I, think you're, I think you have to shift the boundaries in something, some sort of work relationship or some sort of relationship 
um, and some, some, some area of your life that's routine. Like this isn't like shifting the boundaries of a vacation home. This is like shifting the boundaries of maybe, you know, expectations within the home with people that you live with or even at work, like, you know, shifting the, there is, it seems like something's gotten to be a little bit routine or a little bit normalized, uh, that you want to shift the normal. Something needs to shift. This is about boundaries and this is about your routine. And we have an adjustment is required, I think, to the boundaries, your routine boundaries. And it's, it's this new cycle of a relationship, this new type of a relationship. Territory could also be like moving in with someone. You would definitely want to be establishing, you know, expectations early on uh, because those, it's really hard for people to shift boundaries and expectations later. It just feels like, um, like, like when your rent's getting raised, for instance, um, you signed a contract saying you were going to pay this much. And then someone with much more power than you in the contract says, oh, I, I would like to shift the contract. You now owe me this much. That's not the contract you signed. So if you had signed a contract saying you owe that much every month, that would be fine. That would be just fine. This is getting a little personal here. But you didn't sign a contract saying you could afford to pay that much, but now someone wants to change the rules, right? So, um, so metaphorically, that's what you're probably dealing with. Um, something like that where there's some sort of rule change uh, and to your routine, to something that's gotten to be a norm and this territory is a norm, um, but there's something, some kind of change to your norm. Now, it, it might have to do with your home. It might have to do with um, some kind of boundary setting. But then we also have release, and release is coming in like adjustments required. This could be where you need to let go of expectations. You need to let go of something so that you can move on. So this release is definitely about uh, leaving something in the past. You can mourn it, you can have a little ceremony for it, um, maybe even a cord cutting type ceremony, something like that, where you're, you're very intentional and conscious about letting go of something. Maybe there was a boundary was crossed at some point and it's affected this routine and, uh, and it's time for you to let go of it. And yeah, that happened. Um, and maybe you need to shift your expectations for a certain person or this relationship, it just seems like there's an adjustment and like a letting go of some kind of routine, of some sort of territorialness. Like maybe you have the room divided in half and, um, and your half and their half. And it's like, maybe it's time to let go of having that half of the room and just share the space more organically. Just see like there's this hard line that was drawn, a very hard line that was drawn and it's normalized, but you need to adjust in a shift into a new relationship, into a new way of relating to this person or this thing. And it's going to require, I feel like one of the biggest adjustments is going to require uh, letting something go, not clinging to something, like letting it stay in the past, uh, releasing yourself of some sort of weight, right? That's release, I think, can be a bit about forgiveness too. Um, just, uh, and forgiveness isn't for the other person, it's for yourself um, to allow you to move forward with less weight, carry less burdens, carry less with you, carry less baggage with you. So basically I see this as letting go of some kind of baggage. You may feel entitled to it. It may feel like yours, but it's time to like take it to the dump, right? Things get worn out. We don't need them anymore. And there's something about your boundaries and this routine. And I'm not saying throw out the boundaries. I'm a big boundary fan, but there is like a there is something that's not useful anymore but you treasure it like it's like something that you've nursed and you felt like you needed and it feels like a security blanket or something like that and it's like this security blanket 
Um, you've had it since you were three. It smells like pee permanently and you've got, and it's got holes in it. So you're going to have to can just let that go. Yes, it's part of your routine. Yes, it's part of your life, but it's really time to leave that leave it let try to let go of it try to release it which is easier said than done always i mean it's yours right there's a sense of territory it's mine it's mine i own this i own this old thing it's like bury it and return it to a thing i mean marie kondo whatever this is whether it's a certain part of a relationship, whether it's a grudge, whether it's a blanket, whether it's whatever this is, it's become part of your routine and you kind of need to adjust to life without it or something like, like you hold, you know, release it. She teaches release really well. Um, you know, hold it, thank it for its work, for how it's protected you, how it's, um, you know, been something that you've come back to again and again as yours, like, and appreciate it appreciate everything it's done for you and then let it go so again that release felt really intentional to me like there needs to be some kind of ceremony of letting go of something um you know that's it may have defined you it may be you know so much yours so yes okay so new directions we're gonna reframe this as redirection um so you did something it made sense at the time it felt like it made sense um, but it actually it wasn't meant to last forever so i think like this thing this original plan this original idea uh it's time to let that go because now you're at the place where to not release this idea, this concept of where we were going, what we were going to do, what the project was going to look like, what the apartment was going to look like, um, to not really let go of that, the contract that you already signed, um, to not let go of that would be, you know, death and destruction. This plummets, this plummeting to the earth. It's actively plummeting to the earth. Man, I can get so dramatic in these. Um, but here you're releasing this so that you can hold on to this. And gra this is the real thing. This is the practice thing. And we've got the practice thing here too. This one right here. Um, it almost completes it, right? It's like the same thing. This is the practice. This is, we've got sea witch here. So we've got, um, this is a very water card, um, but we've got, you know, a companion here, someone, something here. And this is, this is rehearsals, uh, practicing. She's playing. She can't actually go anywhere. This doesn't actually work. Um, this isn't a working propeller. She's not going anywhere. She has no means to go anywhere herself. She's a jellyfish. Uh, so there's been maybe no movement. This represents a lot of movement, but we're going to combine the two and we're going to say like, this was rehearsals. This was practice. This was, uh, but now it's time to let go of this, this, uh, security blanket or this thing. And so that you can actually take the real thing that you're meant to take, right? This was great. All of these rehearsals, all of this practice, or, or maybe even like, you know, you started off with one, uh, one idea of a career and it's not going to happen. And you're starting to realize that and you're wondering what to do. This is sort of like leap for the next one. That's again, another big, big, uh, statement, but you know, this, this thing isn't, isn't going to work. So you have to let go of this. Um, but it's been useful. It's not been wasted time. It's been very useful. It's been very good, but we're going to have to transition to something else, uh, because the norm, whatever you're used to, isn't, isn't going to work anymore. Um, so you have to let go of something. It has to do with your routine and something you've come to expect. Something you've clung to. But if you're going to really live or really do something, you're, you're, you have to release it. You have to let go of it. You have to make an adjustment, a redirection. Adjustments required, a redirection here. So let's find a little, a little note from our animals here. Giraffe. I like this. Growth. Yes, that can easily come in with adjustments. Uh, foresight, vision heavenward bound pillar 
heighten my awareness and intuition. All right, so being aware, again, there's a sense of intentionality with this shift, with these adjustments, being very intentional about every step of that, like every step of understanding I am leaving this top hat. It was a good idea. It was very intellectual. I'm leaving this. I am leaping over here to this. I am grabbing this. Goodbye, top hat. Thank you so much for being an important part of my life. But I think my survival prospects are going to be better without you now. So there is like an adjustment. It's not necessarily just leaving because there's something else here. And so I think this vision and this foresight to understand and to know, um, right? Know when to hold them and know when to fold them, know when to stick with something and know when to abandon something and when to when it's no longer a good idea and um, when it's time to move on. So knowing when to do that. So I would say that's like the vision here um, and the foresight, seeing something coming. And growth, I think we can talk about that as adjustments and redirection, this growth. So, all right, well, if that was helpful for you, or even if it wasn't, come join me over on Vimeo if you want. And if not, I'll see you guys in a while.